Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I am back from my well-deserved vacation. We went to Ibiza for six nights and oh my god, it is such a beautiful, beautiful little island. Um, there wasn't any parties going on because, you know, restrictions and all. Actually, the day that we were supposed to leave, or no, the day that we left, supposedly was the day that those nightclub restrictions were lifted. So, we missed that. Uh, but that's okay. We still did a lot. We visited so much. We explored the island. It's such a, such a beautiful island. Um, a vlog is coming. I just actually have to sit down and edit it because there's so much footage. But I promise the vlog is coming. But anyways, today's video is an update to my Pandos eyeshadows and uh, it is a super duper exciting one. So if you're interested in seeing uh, my progress, then just keep on watching. As always, I will leave the creator uh, linked down below in my description box. And also I have linked some other fabulous ladies that I love watching over there so that if you're interested in seeing more of these types of videos because it is a huge, huge project here on YouTube, then uh, you'll have hours upon hours of footage to watch. But anyways, today's video is super exciting because I'm actually rolling out all of my eyeshadows. Remember how last week I was complaining that, you know, I didn't have any progress? Well, you'll see by how little I was off. If I probably waited maybe a week, I would have, um, or maybe even a day in, in some of the cases here, uh, I probably would have, um, you know, had something to roll out, but you know, I guess, that's life, you know, nothing ever comes out how you want it to come out, but sure, what can you do? Okay, so I'm just gonna go by the um, eyeshadows that I have in front of me, no particular order. This is the Style London Velvet Touch uh, Angel eyeshadow, and I had rolled in the shade 8, and as you can see, this is what this eyeshadow looks like now. So it took me additional seven uses to actually hit pan, so uh, this took longer than expected uh, for an overall of 21 uses in order to hit pan so this is what this one looks like absolutely beautiful I really loved having this all over my uh, no, I'm gonna keep that on <laughs> because I want to show you the whole color story I loved having this all over my lid and I also loved having this um, on on my lower lash line as well because it just worked really well that way so yeah i quite enjoyed uh, that shade but you know i was kind of getting sick of like these pink looks so i was happy to finally um hit pan on that one next up i had the sleek au naturel palette and i rolled in the shade nine and this is what shade nine looks like and as you can see i also beautiful beautiful pan here i um uh, would use this shade as a liner most of the time and also to deepen out my outer corner as well as um, kind of to smoke out my lower lash line and it worked out well that way. So this is what this shade looks like and actually you would not believe it took me one additional time since the last update to hit pan. One additional time, guys, one more day, I would have waited and I would have had something to roll out. Sure, what can you do? So overall, it took me 13 times to hit pan on this one. Um, it, it's an okay shade. I don't, it's, it, it was fine, but I'm glad that I don't have to work on it anymore. And the last shade comes from my So Jaded palette and I rolled in the shade Smoky Quartz. And this is what Smoky Quartz looks like. I hope you can see the pan there so this one took me additional four times to uh hit pan since the last update for an overall of 16 times to hit pan so this is what this uh shadow looks like it's a beautiful beautiful all over kind of um all over the lid uh shadow you can use it as a one um one shadow how to how do they say it 
one swipe swatch kind of you know just one and done shadow here we go <laughs> you can use it as a one and done shadow because it has a little bit of depth uh, to it and yeah it just looks absolutely beautiful but nevertheless we have rolled out all of um, the shadows in this rotation which means that we will be rolling in three new eyeshadows this time around okay so i had a little bit of an influx of eyeshadows uh that kind of came into my collection because i did an exchange with this um girl her name is claire she sent me a huge package of makeup from the usa and i sent her uh, some makeup also from ireland and you know we did an exchange like that and uh yeah i kept most of those palettes uh so that means that my spreadsheet has um uh, gotten a lot bigger than it was so as you can see at the moment i have i don't because i need to move or did i already move those no i didn't so let me just move those out those that we hit pan on okay so my spreadsheet is up to date now and um so let me just go back down and uh that means i have 419 eligible eyeshadows to work on so i'm going to go to my pretty random app choose one two four nineteen and i am going to clear history prevent rerolls and we are going to randomize three eyeshadows the first one is 171 second one is 214 third one is 263 okay so let's check it out 171 comes from my 171 kylie bronze palette and it is the shade citrine okay okay dokie very interesting so uh let me just make that uh highlight that that is 171 214 comes from my huda beauty new nude palette uh this is a uh very frequent uh, palette in this in this uh, freaking project uh, so 214 is the shade spanked very naughty and then 263 to oh color pop so jade palette that palette is never gonna go away no two 263 not 253 okay oh my god I almost made the same mistake 263 is uh the shade you're a gem which is a match from what i can remember okay so let me just grab those shades and um i'll come back to show you what they look like okay so i have gotten all my shades and uh the first one that we rolled in came from my kylie palette this is the bronze palette and it was the shade citrine which uh citrine is actually this guy right here so it is this um, orange shade. Uh, I guess for autumn is not too bad, but it's a fairly vibrant-ish uh, orange. So it's gonna be fun. So this is what that shade um, looks like. We'll make it work. I have some um, progress on it, but these eyeshadows are quite deep. So yeah, it's gonna take a while to uh, pan on that anyway moving on i have the huda new nude palette and the shade that we rolled in is the shade spanked which is this one right here it is another matte and it is a beautiful plum sort of shade and yeah it's nice it's a fairly tightly pressed sort of matte uh so yeah this one is again gonna take a while uh, before we hit pan but you know i'm hopeful let's say and then the last shade comes from my um color pop so jade palette this palette just loves to be in this project and it's the shade you're a gem Ooh, which is this one right here which is another freaking matte but actually this one will go very very well with the kylie one 
kind of similar but not really the kylie one is a little bit more vibrant this one is a little bit more muted so yeah this one is kind of pulls a bit more coral let's say but yeah this is that guy right here a very summery sort of um color story i must admit but sure this is the beauty of this project you don't know what you're gonna get uh, but you know with all these mats i can actually play around with my shimmers which is also nice uh, but yeah that is it guys we have three new eyeshadows to work on they're all matte and it's gonna be fun so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you very much and the vlog is coming and i will see you in the next one bye Mwah.